Okay, we're gonna learn how to put the shoulder rest on your violin. So it's really important that for this course and for great technique and really sound playing, that you always use a shoulder rest. I strongly encourage you to use either a Bon Musica or an Everest or a Kuhn. The shoulder rest that you can buy for $10 in the store or a sponge that you can get pretty cheap or a pad isn't gonna provide the support. It's also not gonna give you the structure you need. You need to make sure that when you place the shoulder rest on your shoulder that it fits flush. If your shoulder rest is straight and you've bought a very inexpensive one, it's gonna teeter-totter and it's gonna make it very difficult to play your violin. So make sure you have a good curve to your shoulder rest and the first thing we want to identify is the dip. Do you see how this side here has a dip on it? The dip side rests on your shoulder. And so it's very important because that dip side goes on the back side of where your chin rest is. So I need to have the dip on the same side of the violin on the back. And what I'm going to do is my shoulder rest feet have little grooves in them. And I'm going to line those grooves up with the lip the little ledge or edge of the violin on the back. I'm gonna put this side on first, the chin rest side, and then I'm gonna put the other side on and I'm gonna push it just until the shoulder rest is straight. It's really important that your shoulder rest goes on straight and not crooked. If your shoulder rest goes at an angle like this or like this, it'll make your violin pop up or point straight down. So in order to have a level instrument and to be holding it with your shoulder and your jawline, you're going to need to have that shoulder rest on straight. Also be careful that you don't go past the halfway point. So you don't want your feet of your shoulder rest to go past halfway between the corner and the end pin. You want to keep it at halfway. If you go further than halfway, you're going to find that it's not going to sit on your shoulder appropriately. If you go to set your violin up and it doesn't feel comfortable and it doesn't rest what we call flush on the side of your body, you probably have the shoulder rest either on crooked, on too far, or on backwards. You might have it on the wrong settings as well. If you have a three-quarter slash full shoulder rest, if you have a full-size violin, you want to have the feet as far apart as they can go. But if you have a three-quarter, you want to have those feet in. Why? Because that size of shoulder rest will fit both sizes of violin. So if it's not fitting quite right, you can try moving the feet in or out on the pegs.